Now, Dr. Bal Chandra Mungekar. Dr. Bal Chandra Mungekar. Thank you, sir, Vice Chairman, sir. <laughs> sir, after uh, listening, Dr. Nechey upon my able colleague from the party, clause-wise of the bill, I think it is hardly necessary for me to participate in the discussion. Because practically, though I and my party support the bill, in view of what he discussed, there is hardly anything to be supported. For two reasons. There is absolutely nothing new in this bill, which needs deliberation. But second point is, what compelling me to participate in the discussion is, I was just thinking that after 1947 till today, out of the 68 years, Congress party, except 10 years of rule of the non-Congress party, has ruled for 58 years. And this country has been made by the Congress party what it is today. There can be number of limitations, number of objections, number of shortfalls, but what India stands today is unconditionally, unequivocally, and undoubtedly this creation of modern, secular, Vibrant. democratic, Vibrant. liberal Vibrant. Indian nation is the creation of the Indian National Congress. <laughs> now I am saying this not because of sake of semantics, including blackboard. Yes, I, I will come to that. Because it's you can't money. expect it's anything good. Up. He's He's coming. No, 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 I'm coming to that, including black money. <laughs> Bharatiya Janta Party, I read their manifesto right from 1952. Because Bharatiya Janasangha, before emerging as Bharatiya Janta Party, has compiled all their manifestos up to 1980, when Janta Party collapsed. Not a single political party in the country has claimed the monopoly of credentials, the monopoly of mo morality, the monopoly of uh, national integrity, and the monopoly of character as the Bharatiya Janata Party has done since its inception. Normally, I would not have bothered to discuss these things. But when I look into the promises which Congress has given from 1952 till today, and what Congress has built up, including, I repeat again, with all limitations, I, should, I know I am trying my level best to become dispassionate. The promises which Bharatiya Janata Party has given, particularly in May 2014 election, exceeded all the promises <coughs> given by the Congress Party from, from 1952 till today. And on every promise they have failed, including the issue of the black money. That is the point. Now, Satish Mishra ji was just now saying that banks are say, telling the people that there is no money in your bank. Now, it is not enough. It is half truth. Bank also should say that never money will come to your account. Because basically, in this entire bill, there is no mechanism to deal with how the black money could be brought into the country. But this is one thing. Second important point is, I understand in a competitive democratic politics, parties are giving the promises. And parties also know that all these promises are not to be fulfilled. But no political party has made a statement, the chief of the party, that this black money issue were depositing 15 lakhs of rupees in every person's individual bank account is Chunavi Jumla. I must compliment the capacity of telling truth to the people after election was winning and after getting victory, particularly on such false promises. Sir, coming to this, in 2011, 782 Indians' accounts, names were there with the ministry, but ministry at that time UPA did not disclose. Sir, I had, I have like many others respect for the present finance minister. And despite my disagreement with him, it has not diminished from when he was the leader of the opposition. From May 2010, when I joined the Rajya Sabha, I heard carefully his speeches, his commitment to bring the black money, 
his conviction, his powerful attack, his jurisprudence, his language, his vocabulary. But so far, this bill is concerned, nothing is reflected yes. what he was saying when he was the leader of the opposition. Yes. Sir, the next important question according to me is that uh, about the bill. Now, despite the fact the which has been brought to the notice of Nachiya Panji, the bill was first presented by Lok Sabha UPA in 2011 and referred to the parliamentary panel, but it had left in the Lok Sabha was dissolved. That's why I had made mention earlier that this is the replication of the good part whatever this bill contains. Second, the bill also provides one-line compliance opportunity for a limited period of persons who have un undisclosed foreign assets which have hitherto not been disclosed for the purpose of the income tax. This is unacceptable. Such persons may file the declaration before the specific tax authority within a specified period followed by payment of tax at the flat of 30% and equal amount as penalty. It means the people, those are offenders, the rate of income tax for them and the income tax for the people, those who are honestly paying within the country, no distinction has been made. Sir, the biggest problem of the bill is, in shortcoming, is in no place the mechanism to bring back the, what the money has been stashed out, outside has been mentioned. Fourth important thing is, the understanding with the developed nations was reached over the black money, information exchanges, etc. But that rich information has not been utilized properly for drafting this bill and making it more accurate. In practice, people are at the mercy of the assessment officers and at their capricious orders, which are justified on the grounds of meeting the tax targets set by the finance ministry. But the most important question, sir, is Apart from these countries, the, these concerns, the safeguards in the bill exempt those holding foreign accounts with a balance of rupees 5 lakh from the criminal consequences. This is just amnesty to the people, those who are offenders, by not paying the tax. Another important which probably Nachiya Panji has not mentioned, I do not know, the rules do not clearly define how the assets should be valued leaving the number of possibility of disputes and litigation only will increase. Again, what is missing in the bill is in India <coughs> that the quality of the administration of the income tax has not been taken into consideration. Sir, being a student of economics, I don't want to repeat everything that I because there is no time. But here everybody, probably many people know that Economic problems are not economic problems only. Celebrated Cambridge professor who was teacher of Dr. Manmohan Singh, John Robinson, she has mentioned that the roots of the political questions lie in economics and the answer to economic questions lie in politics. Corruption is not economic issue at all. It is economics only because it deals with money. Corruption is essentially a political problem and that's why answer needs to be searched into, into the politics of the country. Now, sir, as we know, discussion that we are having today and even before joining the parliament, in, a, in order to understand economic in a somewhat better manner, I was, I was reading Adam Smith, David Ricardo, John Stuart Mill and Karl Marx. Basically, corruption, that is unreported economy, it is anti-development because it deprives the nation from utilizing the funds which would otherwise would have been available for the development purposes. Second, it is anti-poor, it is pro-elite class. Whenever some reservations are to be given, I will this dimension to this question, whenever some reservations are given to scheduled class, scheduled tribes, women, poor people, vernacular people, we discuss merit. And what is the merit? The Mars obtained at BCOM, MCOM, engineering, etc. All these people, those who are generating black money, 
what is their merit their expert merit is how to generate more more and more black money how many agricultural laborers are there how many widows are there how many tribes are there how many destitutes are there how many people vernacular about 30 percent 40 percent are illiterate not even able to sign how many those people are there that's why without taking into account the sources of black money that is just like going for the medicine without understanding the diagnosis i should not forget but honorable finance minister i request you rather than dealing with bringing black money i would request you to come in the next session with a bill prevention of generation the black money within the indian economy that will be absolutely better so far this issue particular issue is concerned sir probably i remember i am open for correction i am open for correction in grammar of politics boliye boliye sir grammar of politics probably laski has said that the law rules the poor reach rule the law if we this dress my car violates the traffic rule probably people will not question me but ordinary vendor traveling in auto crosses one particular the traffic rule he will be immediately slapped by the other day when i saw the picture and it was shameful other day i saw that one uh, traffic officer was beating woman those who she was driving the uh, she was driving on the motorcycle yeah, that's why sir, that's slapping, sir. minister forest forest that's 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 what the what do you want if minister slapping Has come, news has come. We are prominently in television and also in print media. No, no, don't interfere. In print media and television, we can't ignore it. No, please, sir. I was, I was, I was, I, I was, <coughs> sir. I was requesting the honourable finance minister to next in the next session to bring the bill prevention of generation of black money. Now, the, all the honourable members have mentioned. how the real estate what are the sources of now you have to conclude no no how many minutes Another you summer. please conclude no no how can you tell me that i will conclude accordingly in 2 minutes in 2 minutes only 2 it is it seven minutes left i will show you okay now the question is sir come bolo na sir i am addressing you you chal yaar it there are five 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 major five major sources of black money one is people should not feel offended but the main source is the political class and the ruling classes in the country i am not talking of ruling party i am talking of ruling classes marx has made the distinction between the ruling party and the ruling classes that's why these politically ruling classes second is industry and the corporate sector Sir, I am distinguishing yeah. between corporate. Sir, MB is also included in the political ruling class. But of course, though I am not corrupt, but I am exception. My point is, my 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 point is, we have, but I and many like you also. Ah yes, Now, I am exception. I am I am I am not talking. I am not. I am not talking against corporate sector as such. I distinguish between chronic capitalism. and the corporate sector because it is extremely difficult and erroneous to uh, marxist third is trade domestic and foreign <laughs> domestic and foreign trade sir particularly domestic trade is absolutely on such a massive scale the money is not paid properly income tax so for foreign trade is concerned the overhoising of imports and undervoising of exports that is import export surrounding are absolutely manipulating for these foreign exchange transactions foreign exchange transaction is a major business so far some people are concerned and i need not speak about the real estate sir two things in this connection i want to mention one is the abolition of the global participatory receipts when mr chidambaram was finance minister we were at that point global depository receipts is the major source of corruption 
and the second that the tax heaven when i read 10 years ago for the first time carefully i was reading earlier that 32% of total foreign institutional investment is coming from mauritius 40% 40% but let us say 35% now what is size of mauritius mauritius is not even equal of chandni chowk and what is the mauritius population what is mauritius aggregate income what is mauritius per capita income that mauritius is 35% of the total financial investment coming from mauritius taking your stock exchange markets at the higher level we are celebrating it totally disconnected to the real economy agriculture is stagnating industry is in recession trade is not expanding agriculture is disproportionate crisis and we are saying 537 index is topping the list this is absolutely illusion sustaining on illegal money coming from tax haven in form of foreign institutional investment which already has been allowed okay. from this country right. to go abroad okay now last last, last point that's okay last, last point, point. Last, last, last. last last point please general sir as i mentioned that it is essentially a political question yeah. i wish them best because any political party congress or bjp or any other political party they will be doing human service to the nation if genuinely we are really able to control the generation of the black money rather than sending or allowing sending black money back and then bringing back and making development faster and inclusive that okay. will be the greatest service okay. to the nation and that is no, challenge to them. they should accept that challenge thank you very much sridhi raja sir i have a request to the house but i would like to know by what time we will be able to complete because this has to go to lok sabha i have no problem of sitting long lok sabha members no, are also asking rough, roughly roughly they are asking sir if you can indicate some time because here yeah. also pm has to be there and then mr later has to be there then i have to go to lok sabha so, also some sir, idea i will tell you raja will take I, o- raja will take only half an hour see <laughs> raja is very crisp <laughs> very crisp uh, i have a Uh, four names received uh, in time and three names received after starting the discussion so four names means it is in the adesh category four minutes each that means 14 16 minutes 16 minutes then three names received later i think we we have no time to allow that in that and, case and i will ask some clarification no that is that, that's a separate matter No, no. Nay, so, shall I take it? Uh, shall so I take therefore, it, uh, minister no. reply will be by 5:15. Ah, uh, minister will reply at 5:15. Then 5:30 reply or. Fine. Okay. 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 Okay.